All right, thank you, Ted. Leaders with the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services have reached an agreement with advocacy group Disability Rights North Carolina. This after a 2017 lawsuit that claimed the state was not providing enough resources for those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is here with us and Sydney walk us through this case and what's happening today. So this case started in 2017. That is when this advocacy group Disability Rights North Carolina filed a lawsuit claiming people with intellectual and developmental disabilities were not able to access essential community based services. North Carolina state law requires those with disabilities are able to receive supports in whatever setting they choose, but the waiting list for people who want to receive community or home based services rather than stay in an institutional setting is more than 17,000 people long. So what do the courts have to say about this case? I guess up to this point. So back in 2022, the courts did rule in favor of that advocacy group and they set forth uh, various requirements that the Department of Health and Human Services had to meet. They had to meet certain goals to address those gaps, but the department appealed that ruling, saying it would force some group homes to close. Well, now the state has reached an agreement with Disability Rights NC to avoid that appeal process altogether. The agreement would override the judge's 2022 requirements and the advocacy group would drop its other outstanding claims against the state. Now, I did speak with one of the attorneys working on behalf of Disability Rights. Take a listen to what she had to say about the case. We get calls from people who simply can't get access to services, and it's just really heartbreaking to hear these stories because you're talking about obviously a person who wants to just kind of live in their community and have a full life, but you're also talking about their family. And a lot of times it's a family member who has to not work uh, or, or leave school or do something uh, to dramatically alter their lives because they can't get support. So the agreement goes before a judge for approval this morning at 930. It gives the state a two year period to make those improvements. I'm going to tell you what the details of that agreement are coming up in our next hour. All right, Sydney, thank you very much.